System test 29. This is it. This is the last system test with the 8005. The new panel is done. Well, just about. There's a couple of tiny bugs in the code I want to fix. A few features I want to add, and I need to order parts to build the enunciator. But system test 30 will be at the end of February or at the end of March. Or either at the end of February or part way into March, depending on what happens. So I still have the 8005, obviously. Take a look, this is the last time you'll be seeing it in a system test on the wall. So, for this last system test, I'm doing a little special that I've never done before. So i got the Chevron in my room. 40, 50, 80, but I've got the Simplex Bell. And I'm using bells in this system instead of horns. And I'm also on the phone with... Coffee and Sugar 20, Alex. Yep. And he's... He's only got a couple of minutes, so he's probably going to have to go in a moment, but we'll see. No, not really. I can stick around for a couple more minutes. And, uh, by the way, if you're, any of you guys are wondering about my other fire alarm video, trust me, I have a crap ton that you guys have never seen before. Just the computer that the uh, videos are hosted on are uh, having a little bit of a problem, I think, with the motherboard, but uh, hopefully I'll have them uploaded pretty soon. Okay. So in the living room I've got Simplex T-Bar. This is the one that was in my room. I've moved it in here. And I've got a new alarm. This one is actually homemade. It's, an, it's a strobe plate that I made last night with some plexiglass that I painted red. Looks very nice. And I've got, a, we've got part of a Wheelock strobe on it. Homemade Alertex strobe plate. And I've got the Potter PBA246 bell on top. I almost used this strobe plate, but it's not ADA, and that's not nice. Heat detector, as usual, as always. <laughs> there. In the basement, I took down the 4030. I've got a 6-volt transformer here because I have the Edwards bell. And the reason why I have the 6-volt transformer is because the Edwards bell is 6 volts. All the other bells are, a are bleh, 24 volts. So I have to have this that transformer to power it. And I also have the 270 SPO, which is kind of broken. The screw that holds it shut is busted. So I'm holding it shut with a piece of tape. Yeah, you said it. Mm -hmm. In the shop, I've got the Edwards 278 pull station right here. And I put the key down somewhere and don't know where to put it. I'll find it later. Move on. And the alarms in the garage are the same, but it's kind of chilly out, so I'm not going to go outside. But it's still the the horn, the, the Wheelock horn in the BG-10. I don't have another bell to put out there. If I did, I would, but I don't. So I guess I might as well just begin the test. The system is currently set on March time. So here we go. Three, two, one. Not that cold out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Illinois? No, it's not. It's rather sunny out. This reminds me of Two Pie Boy. Yeah, I know, right? So this is literally a bell test. Except he fiddled with a stopper. What? Except Two Pie Boy fiddled with a stopper. <laughs> oh, there's a snowbank there. Gotta go around. I said, LOUD! <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, and then I spelled it as L-L-L-O-O-O-U-U-U-D-D-D. -D -D. <laughs> if you want to replicate the old portion of my high school, you can set it on continuous. Oh, great. You're fun. <laughs> Alright, reset the pulse station. Gotta love the Chevron. Gotta hate Chevron Gas Company. Nah, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know. Chevron the Tehran. It was BP that spilled the oil, but Chevron, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Alright, I just set it on 90 beat March time. 2001 March time. Let's do the 4251 20. If anyone thinks I got the model number wrong, then boop you. setting. My ears hurt. Right, and I just put the thing in walk test by mistake. There. Alright, let's do... I don't have code 3 on this panel. I have code 4 4 though. That'll sound cool. I'd have to download a new version of the code to do code 3. Because that 8005 has such a bad memory on it that I can't put a lot of code into it. The new panel, though, has like it has 16 megabytes, or yeah, no, 16 kilobytes instead of two kilobytes of code space. So I was able to fit all the coding options plus selective silence into it. You'll see. All right, ready? Code four four. Oh, sweet ear protection. Gotta have that. There. That's better. Alright, stay shut. Oh, it's staying shut on its own. But the problem is, if you wiggle it, it opens. Alright, silence. Reset. All right. Now you request a continuous, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. You may want to take your headphones out. Here. You may want to pull your headphones out. No, it's not really that loud on any of the other coatings. Oh. All right. What should we use? The two seven eight, maybe. I told you I lost the key. I know, fail. Just did it. Oh, I know, here's the key in my pocket. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Win. Alright, back downstairs, because I can't change the coding from the enunciator. Yet. Alright. The shop. Lift and pull for fire. Class is over. School bells, but the school bell's going crazy. <laughs> yeah, 
And now it really sounds like two fly boy. Do you hear that? Yeah, it doesn't sound like the bell is striking enough. Did you hear that, what the bell was doing? No, I don't. No, it sounded like it wasn't striking as much. The bell wasn't hitting the gong as much. But Weird. I'm surprised you didn't put the phone up to the alarm like I did with you. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, yeah. There's the 4030. It's taken down. That thing's so big, I'm going to have to find another spot for it. But, that's the finale for System Test 29. Or, excuse me. That's the finale for the Alertech 8005 and System Test 29. So, what do you think the new panel is going to be? You don't know? A 4100U. Ha 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 ha. Nice Fire try. Firelight MS 9200. The what? Firelight MS 9200. Firelight sucks. I know. We were just throwing that out there. Alright. So you want to see what the new panel looks like? Well, I think I can give you a quick glimpse. I can't see it though. Well, you'll see it later on when I upload the video. Yeah. Well, right now I'm missing an end-of-line resistor, so it's Damn. flashing a trouble right now. But this is what it looks like. It's inside the old panel box. There's your quick glimpse. Goodbye.